Hello friend, welcome to our YouTube channel Target Nursing. So in this video we are going to study about fertilization which is next topic after uh, we have uh, completed the topic menstrual cycle. So as we have completed two topic from female reproductive system, first one is part of re um, female reproductive system and the second one is about menstrual cycle. So now in this video we are going to continue the topic fertilization from fertilization. So before starting the lecture please do like subscribe and share the video so let's start it so today we are going to start the topic fertilization okay i hope you all have heard the word fertilization so first we are going to see the definition of fertilization what what is meant by fertilization okay so first just uh, i have told you earlier that uh, there should be when you got the uh, questions and examinations like uh, tell the definition of fertilization and what uh, if it will be if it will be of two marks so you have to write two definition of a topic like if the question is like uh, define fertilization and it is of two marks so you have to write it two definition of fertilization okay so now we're gonna see it it is a fusion of sperm and ovum that results in formation of zygote that is known as fertilization okay so what is fertilization when the fusion of sperm and ovum so what is sperm and ovum they both are gametes okay what they are they are gametes okay so when there are the fusion of gametes occur in male this is the male gamete as we have studied earlier in male reproductive when we have uh, we have completed the differences between male and female reproductive system that time we have studied about sperm means the male gamete and about the ovum female gametes okay? so the definition is that when the fusion of sperm and ovum means the male and female gamete fusion okay, that results in formation of zygote. The fusion of male and female gamete results in form of zygote, which is known as fertilization. Okay, Very simple when the male and female gamete fusions occur that results in fertilization okay, and they form a zygote. Okay then comes to the second definition second definition is it is a process of fusion of ovum and sperm to form zygote okay so there is a process of fusion of ovum and sperm again they are female gamete and male gamete fusion is occurring here okay and it it will take place in ampulla as we have studied earlier and i have told you earlier that the fertilization is occurring ampulla region of fallopian tube okay so the fertilization will take place in ampulla region of fallopian tube so this this is about the definition so you have to write two definition when the question is asked that define fertilization and it is of two marks so you have to write two definition at least okay so now we're gonna see gametes Okay, so uh, like I have told you earlier that uh, there are two gametes like male, female gamete and male gamete. So what is female gamete? Female gamete, gamete is ovum. Okay, and what is male gamete? Male gamete is sperm. Okay, so the lifespan of ovum, yeah, this will also be, this we have studied before, the lifespan of ovum. Ke mein. Okay, and uh, the lifespan of ovum, ovum is 12 to 24 hours. Okay. So lifespan kitni ki 12 to 24 hours ki lifespan hogi. Okay. Then the structure of ovum. The structure of ovum is the ovum is made up of three parts. Okay. Jo ovum hai hamara, it will made up of three parts. So what are these three parts? That, that is first is membrane, second is cytoplasm and third is nucleus. Means a ovum will consist of a membrane like this okay and the cytoplasm and that and a nucleus and it okay so there will be three structure of an ovum okay further i'm gonna uh, show you a picture of ovum in the female gametes then you have to you will clear it okay 
so structure of ovum and the membrane as i told you that there are three structure that the ovum is made up of so first is membrane so we we're going to see about membranes okay so there are three membranes jisse ovum bana hota hai theek hai ovum will made up of three membranes theek hai like this i'm not making the perfect diagram yet but uh, for just for your understanding i'm making it like that okay the uh, ovum will make made up of three membranes okay so first one is corona radiata and the second one is zona pellucida and the third one is known as vitelline membrane there are the three membranes of ovum okay the ovum is mainly consist of three parts which is membrane cytoplasm and nucleus and but the membrane membrane is of three types as corona radiata zona pellucida and vitelline membrane okay so now the space between zona pellucida and vitelline membrane so the space between jo space hoga hamare zona pellucida and vitelline membrane ke beech mein use hum kya bolenge which is known as perivitelin space theek okay? hai because it perivitelin that's why it is na name because it is between zona pellucida layer and vitelline membrane so it is known as perivitelin membrane so as i have made a diagram like this so uh, outermost is corona radiata second one is zona pellucida and third one is third one is vitelline membrane so where where will be the perivitelline surface perivitelline surface in between the zona pellucida and vitelline membrane okay this is only for your understanding this is not the correct diagram right now okay so this is all about the female gamete female gamete is ovum and the life span of ovum is 12 to 24 hours and the structure of ovum is made up of three structures membrane cytoplasm nucleus and what are those membranes corona radiata zona pellucida and vitelline membrane and the space between the zona pellucida and vitelline membrane is known as perivitelline space okay now comes to the male gamete what is male gamete male gamete is sperm okay so the life span of sperm is 48 to 72 hours okay then the structure of sperm structure of sperm the sperm is consist of head neck middle point and tail okay so so here's the structure of ovum as i have told you that the, the ovum is made up of three parts which is known as membrane so this is the membrane this is cytoplasm and this is nucleus it is membrane this is cytoplasm and this is nucleus okay and then after the membrane is of three types and what are those three types those three types are corona radiata okay so you can see here the outermost layer is corona radiata and the second one is second one is what second one is zona pellucida okay you can see the layer zona pellucida okay so the outermost is corona radiata and after it zona pellucida and the innermost is vitelline membrane which is also known as vitellus okay so the space between as we have studied that there is a space between zona pellucida and perivitelline membrane which is known as perivitelline surface space theek okay? hai so where is the perivitelline space this is the perivitelline space and this one is nucleus okay this one is nucleus okay so now this is the correct diagram but which i have made that was not a correct diagram that was for your understanding only so this is a correct diagram so from here you can only understand that there are three the ovum is made up of three part membrane cytoplasm and nucleus and the membrane is consist of three layers which is corona radiata zona pellucida and vitelline membrane and there is a space between zona pellucida and vitelin membrane which is known as perivitelin space okay and there will be nucleus inside the ovum okay now move to the structure of sperm so as i have told you that there is a neck there is a tail there is a middle piece there is a head okay so there is a head there is a neck there is a tail there is a middle piece so here some mitochondria are here so mitochondria what uh, what are the main function of mitochondria they will help to provide energy so 
what they will do to sperm they will provide energy to sperm for motility okay as we all know that sperm have ability to motile okay sperm can move so the uh, ability of moving from where the sperm got from mitochondria okay and there is a nucleus like there is an o uh, in ovum there is also a nucleus so uh, in sperm there is also a nucleus okay so when the fertilization occur there is a fusion of both nucleus okay so this is the structure of sperm and the structure of ovum we have already studied so now this this will be clear for you okay and now move to the next this is the process of fertilization which is main topic okay so what is process of fertilization that uh the how the fertilization take place okay so what happens see the flow chart very uh acche se isko dekho theek hai because uh maine se flow chart mein kara hai aur ek ek step jo hai wo bahut important hai okay so first during intercourse male ejaculate 25 ml of semen into vagina intercourse during intercourse what happens that the male ejaculate 25 ml of semen into vagina How much amount? Twenty-five ml of semen into vagina. But the, from this twenty-five ml, there are two hundred million sperm enter into vagina. Vagina. Okay. This is twenty-five ml of semen, which is consisting of two hundred million sperm, which enter into vagina. Okay. And after that, from that, these two hundred million, only one thousand to two thousand sperm moves upward. Means they will. they are going to upward towards fallopian tube for fertilization from 200 million only 1000 to 2000 sperm are able to move upward towards fallopian tube and other sperms are destroyed by vaginal acidic ph as i have told you that the ph of vagina is acidic so it was the other sperm were be will be destroyed by vaginal acidic ph okay then After that, when these one thousand to two thousand sperm moves upward toward fallopian tube, what happens? The capacitation of sperm occur. So, what is capacitation? Capacitation is a process which enables a sperm to penetrate and fertilize an egg. Okay. So, what is capacitation? Capacitation. Capacitation. Capacitation is a is a process which enables sperm to penetrate and fertilize an egg wo kya karta hai sperm ko enable karta hai penetrate karne ke liye and koi egg ko fertilize karne ke liye wo usko able banata hai capacitization is a process that enables the sperm to penetrate and fertilize an egg okay and after that from these 1000 to 2000 only 300 to 500 sperm reaches to the ovum okay only from these 1000 to 2000 only 300 to 500 sperm reaches to the ovum and start acrosomal reaction when these sperm reaches to the ovum then there will be an acrosomal reaction what will be the acrosomal reaction what is meant by acrosomal reaction acrosomal reaction in this enzyme released from the acrosomes and where is the acrosomes acrosomes are present in sperm you can see here theek okay? hai acrosomes are present in sperm okay so in this enzyme released from acrosome on the head of this sperm the acrosomes are present on the head of this sperm this process causes sperm to penetrate the zona pellucida what is zona pellucida it is a layer of ovum theek okay? hai so kya karta hai sperm penetrate karta hai zona pellucida ko of the egg and begin fertilization and after that the fertilization will be begin when the acrosomal reaction will occur theek okay? hai then after that sperm penetrate the corona radiata theek okay? hai firstly uh, uh, the sperm entered into zona pellucida penetrate the zona pellucida theek okay? hai uh, but uh, before uh, entering the zona pellucida the sperm have to penetrate corona radiata because it is the outermost layer okay so sperm penetrate the corona radiata and start penetrating zona pellucida and after penetrating the cor corona radiata it will be start penetrating the zona pellucida okay fir wo zona pellucida ko penetrate karna start karegi because corona uh, corona radiata jo hai wo outer layer hai tabhi to jab wo outer layer ko penetrate karega uske baad to wo inner layer ko penetrate kar payega na theek hai so 
उसके बाद क्या होगा जैसे ही वो जोना पैरोसिटॉक को करेगा यहाँ पर जोना पैरोसिटॉक को पेनरेट करेगा देन क्या होगा हमारी जोना रिएक्शन अक्कर होगी and what is जोना reaction? It is a modification of जोना पैलोसिडा in response to fertilization, which alters the solubility and binding properties of जोना पैलोसिडा and leads to slow slow block of polyspin. ठीक है so uh, after this process, when 3000 to 500 sperm are reaches to the ovum, so all these sperm are not going to fertilize with ovum. ठीक है ये जो 300 से 500 sperm जो पहुंचे हैं ovum के पास ये सब जाके fertilize नहीं हो जाएंगे इनमें से सिर्फ एक स्पम होगा जो जोना पैलोसिडा और कोरोना रेडिएटा की लेयर को पेनिट्रेट करके ओवम के न्यूक्लियस तक पहुंचेगा इनमें से भी ठीक है फर्स्टली 25 फाइव सेमन रिलीज हुआ उसमें से 200 मिलियन जो थे स्पम एंटर हुए वेजाइना में उसके बाद 1000 टू 2000 थाउजेंड एमएल वन टू 2000 थाउजेंड स्पम जो है वो हमारे फेलोपिन ट्यूब को मूव करे उसमें से भी 300 हंड्रेड टू फाइव हंड्रेड स्पर्म जो थे वो रीच करे ओवम को बट आउट ऑफ दीज थ्री हंड्रेड टू फाइव हंड्रेड स्पर्म ओनली वन स्पर्म विल बी एबल टू एबल टू फ्यूज विद द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ ओवम ओके सो आफ्टर पेन दैट वन स्पम पेनेट्रेट द कोरोना रेडिएटा एंड स्टार्ट पेनेट्रेटिंग द जोना पैलोसिडा देन द जोना रिएक्शन ठीक है जोना रिएक्शन विल अकर जोना रिएक्शन वट इज जोना रिएक्शन जोना रिएक्शन इज द मोडिफिकेशन ऑफ जोना पैलोसिडा जोना पैलोसिडा इज वट जोना पैलोसिडा इज अ लेयर ऑफ ओवम नाउ द मोडिफिकेशन विल अकर लाइक द स्पम हैज पेनेट्रेटेड द जोना पैलोसिडा नाउ द मोडिफिकेशन विल अकर इन द जोना पैलोसिडा लाइक इफ दिस लाइक दैट इट इज जोना पैलोसिडा नाउ द स्पम एंटरिंग हेयर ठीक है एंड इट इट एंटर्ड इन नाउ दिस एंटर्ड इन टू द ओवम एंड इट इज पेनेट्रेटिंग द जोना पैलोसिडा नाउ द लेयर विल बी लाइक दिस ठीक है एंड नाउ द स्पम विल बी इन साइड सो वट जोना पैलोसिडा विल डू इट विल वट इट विल मॉडिफाइड इट सेल्फ सो दट अदर स्पम्स those are there in vagina they cannot reach the zona pellucida theek hai ek sperm ke baad dusra sperm na hai iske wajah se wo kya karti hai usko modified kar leti hai theek hai alters the solubility and binding properties of so apni jo solubility aur binding property hoti hai zona pellucida ki usko alter kar deti hai and kis liye karti hai to leads to a slow block of polyspermy taki wahan pe ko polyspermy na ho means the ovum will not fertilize with more than one sperm polyspermy mein spermy means the ovum should not be fertilized with more than one sperm ye usko ensure karke rakhna hai okay ठीक है देन आफ्टर स्पम एंटर इन टू द साइटोप्लाज्म ऑफ द ओवम व्हेन द जोना रिएक्शन विल अकर आफ्टर दैट द स्पम एंटर इन टू द साइटोप्लाज्म ऑफ द ओवम साइटोप्लाज्म आल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ ओवम ओके देन द फ्यूजन ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल गैमेट्स अकर देन द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ मेल एंड द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ फीमेल विल बी फ्यूज्ड एंड व्हाट विल फॉर्म जाइगोड विल फॉर्म सो देयर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ जाइगोड इन द एंड ओके so this is very easy process and i have made it on flow chart so that you can clear it okay and i hope you understand it so today we have studied about what we have studied about fertilization okay fertilization and there will be two definition of fertilization then we have studied about gamete which is male and female gamete about their structures we have studied and we have seen their structure okay then after that we have seen the process of fertilization okay so i hope this will be clear for uh, clear to you all okay and in next video we will move to our next topic okay which will be development of development of zygote okay so this is all for today thank you so friends this is all for today we have completed our topic fertilization and let me know uh, in comment box ki aap logo ko kitne kitna ye samajh mein aaya let me know the feedback of this video okay so uh, the next topic will be development of zygote in next video we are going to study about development of zygote okay so please don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video 
and please let me know the feedback of this uh, video okay thank you so much